Adrian Mills, your uh, Excel and VBA craftsman. Today I want to talk to you about my backup file, which I, I, I kind of love because it's a passive backup file that's backing up your the files, the important files that you have that you revise during the day, and then when you shut down at night, it will back them up automatically. Now with the advent of solid state um, hard drives and external drives, that is an extremely fast process. It's no burden on you, so just boom, it backed up, and I'll show you. Okay. So I'm going to add a file. Just this, is, and we could talk through it. So first, we the first thing we do is we pick a file, right? We browse, and I really want to get something out of C, right? Usually, C you're going from C to an external drive, right? So let's pick something. I don't want to go in customers. Let's uh, all right, bid tool template, right? We'll just pick this uh, bid tool doc doc document, right? So there it is, big tool template, and I want to back it up. Let's see where I want to back it up to. I just want to back it up to the D drive, and I have an external drive there, and automated backup files is fine. Okay, select. But then I want to go over here and change and say something, something, right? This is where you keep your notes, right, on that file so you can remember back when you go into it. Then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say add modify. Let's see we have everything. Big template, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we add it. So it says it's been successfully added, and you'll see bid template doc is right here. And as I hover over these files, you'll see they give you the information. So see how it saves something? So it hasn't been backed up yet because it's brand new, right? So if we ran the backup now, it, well, let's see what happens. And bam, it's backed up on 11.8 at 10.37. And see how fast that was? Now what's nice about this is... So let's go into a file. I think I have the key backup file. Have I got that? Oh. Um, so if we changed any of these, I don't really need to show you, but if we changed any of these during the day, when you shut down, I have this set so that on close, this runs. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually back up your files when you, when you, empty, when you exit, right? So... Uh, and you don't really even have to say file close. You can just hit there, close, and it will run. And you'll see, oh, it backed up automatically. See how it gave us a message? And I, I bet it's going to close. See how it closed? So you leave that file open and automatically loads in the morning. The way I do that is I just simply go into the personal XLS file, XLSB file. And under this workbook, I have a workbook that opens that file. I have a workbook open command. Workbooks open and it opens that particular file, right? Real simple command. Well, I guess I could show you, make it easier. It's in the write-up on this anyway, but uh, it's in my website on this, on how, how to do this. So you just add that workbook open command, and bam. So every time you open Excel, that's going to open that tool. It's in the background. You go on, you do your work, you forget about it. It's, not, it's very little overhead, and you do your work. And then when you finish, any files that you've designated as key critical files, well, guess what? They're going to, they're going to, uh, and you hit control K again, by the way, to open it, right? And see, there it is. There's our file. And then we could add. Now, I have, of course, um, in my own page, uh, I don't want, don't save, right? Don't save. Okay. I just want to show you this, that I use it, and I showed you one where we're using an example there. But on my stuff, I have Sidekick, right? I have this open set to run automatically. And I, if I open the file, the file backup here and here, you'll see that I have 25 files and all the data is there about them. So I use it and it works great. And it uh, quietly, passively backs up your key, crit key critical files. Now, if you have a crash when your C drive goes down or your, uh, or let's say, say you accidentally d delete a file, it happens, it's happened to me. And then, you know, you might, you might lose a lot of work. So I, I really love this backup this backup tool. It's passive. It, uh, it's efficient because it only backs up the stuff that's that's been modified and that and only for the files that are key critical that you've decided. So I'm backing up to an external drive. I'm sure you could set it up to back up to the cloud or whatever you want. Thanks. Again, that's Ray Mills, Excel and VBA Craftsman. And you can see it at my website, www.excelandvbacraftsman.com. Thanks so much.